no scary intro for this review because we're reviewing Blair Witch 2 Book of Shadows. Aren't you excited? It has nothing to do with the Blair Witch. It has nothing to do with a book. But there are shadows. There is a lot of, a lot of shadows. Now let's start the review. And also, yes, you read the title. We are going to be reviewing Blair Witch 2, Two. Book of Shadows. The Tuning. Also join us <laughs> is our good buddy Kyle. He's the guy who made the OWO logo, by the way. Thank you, Kyle. And he, just, he joined us to watch this abomination. And he's going to give us his thoughts on the movie, too. I wouldn't say it's an abomination. It's an abomination. I wouldn't go that far, and I go that far with a lot of things. Well, for me, I, I call it an abomination. I've seen plenty of terrible fucking movies. I call this movie an abomination. I I've it. seen six. Okay, good, fair point, but still, I do <laughs> not like Blair Witch 2. Anyways. Yeah, because it doesn't have anything to do with the Blair Witch. No, it's except not. Except the first movie gets no, dropped No, it has, it's not because times. of the Blair Witch, it's, the story's all over. At least Halloween there's 6. A, there's a, there's a story? Here's the I thing. didn't know this movie had a story. Yeah, it, it's called Making Money Quick. But, if that's a story, then no, because that's a thing. terrible story. I know you hate Halloween 6, but at least it had a story into it. Horrible one, but it had a story. Okay, I'd rather have a movie that doesn't have any story than a movie that has a shit, disappointing story. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't know what the Blair Witch movie is, it's pretty much the most popular found footage movie ever. It came out in 1999. Which we already did a review on go over check it out. here. Yeah, go check it out. And also... Year later, the same people who made the movie was craving, craving for some more Blair Witch. So a year later, this movie was filmed. By the way, this movie, kind of like Halloween Six, has two versions of the move of the movie. The <laughs> second one, the producer's cut, never got released. Not like Halloween Six. Six was terrible. But here's the thing: the one we watched was Hollywood. The other one was actually trying to focus on Blair Witch and all that kind of stuff. This was just Hollywood saying, oh, we could do a better movie. It's the same people who did this, like, with Dragon Ball Evolution. That's terrible. Who gave them the script? They're famous, they're money, so it's like, oh, we could Who do gave better. them the script? Cal, what was your thoughts on Blair Witch 2? And do you know who gave them the script? <laughs> one thing for sure, I think. Our minds are such wires, so wired up with a lot of spiky wires that make me super confused. Sounds a bit strange, but I think the player wish for herself does not want us to understand her at all. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so what's the story? If you could call it a story. It doesn't have a story. It's pretty much these obsessed fans of the first movie. One, who's a, who's a former mental patient. One's a goth chick. The other one's a Wiccan. And the other two are a couple. I made a joke earlier about that. I was like, for, when you first see the first first four... By the way, do you even remember their names? I don't even remember Erica. The okay. Wiccan girl. The, there was Erica. There was Kim. There was Steven. There was... I don't remember. Anyway, I, I only got like three, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, hang on, let's find out. That shows you how much we care. <laughs> I'm just gonna edit that all out. <laughs> just, just, we, we're editing this, so. Ah, uh, here's the cast. Um, Jeff. Oh, uh, that was Jeff. Steven, Erica, Kim. Yeah, that, those were the, huh? the 
Tristan. Tristan, okay. Uh, Tristan, Stephen, Erica, back to edit. Kim, and Jeff. Okay, we got Jeff, Erica, Stephen, and Tristan, and Kim. There we go. That just shows you how much we care. <laughs> I, I want, I, I was all like, I don't see any plot in this. I, I was what I was literally watching a movie with no plot. Yeah, and as as, as we see the when we when we first see Stephen, uh, Tristan, and Erica and Jeff and the car, and the van, I made a Scooby Doo joke saying like all they need is a dog, and you got the Scooby like the mystery ink. And then and then we got like the terrible terrible joke ending. Person joins into the into the van, which was Kim. Kim gets in and is like, "Yeah, now it's uh, now it's a little weird with that Scooby Doo analysis." <laughs> Did you like anybody of that crew? Did you like anybody? I was pretty sure they're all going to die. Only two died. I wasn't sure for much. <laughs> I just. Wait and see what happens. Well, technically, two and, and a baby, two and a half, <laughs> two and a baby fears. <laughs> um, oh yeah, how she lose the baby? Well, they drank and party all night. Well, by the way, yeah, she's pregnant, and Kim figured it out because she's psychic. How is she psychic? It was never revealed. It's one of the. She's basically a medium. What a medium is, it's a person that can um, go into the spectral realm and see things before or after they happen. So that was basically what they were doing with her. Oh yeah, by the way, there was a lot of jump cuts. In yeah. this no, movie. there weren't even jump cuts. There were like, like flashbacks, whatever Fla- they're called. There's a flashback! Flashback, flashback, flashback. And then we get, like, the stupid, um, the theme of the day, which is... Marilyn Manson singing? Yeah, so... (laughs) Um, but anyways, then after that, when they had the party, there was another Blair Witch crew. Two people from... uh... Uh, Actually, no, the, 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 the second crew came out first, and then they finished, you know, partying. No, no, I'm talking about the other ones. Like, yeah, the, yeah they, they, they. Two died. international people, uh, three international people came to look at the Blair Witch. By the way, one was from Belgium, and they said I didn't fly all the way over here to see some trees. Lady, did you even watch the first Blair Witch movie? No. There's nothing but trees and sticks and, and sticks. rocks and a whole lot of rocks. We we see a whole lot of rocks in the first movie. And dirt. And a whole lot of dirt. <laughs> Which, by the way, I guess you could buy from the Black Hills of Burkittsville. You could buy dirt, you could buy rocks, you could buy sticks and all that kind of stuff. And shirts! Don't, uh, don't forget the shirts. And hats and coffee cups. Coffee mugs, whatever they're called. Mugs of coffee. Coffee of mugs. Do you want to pay $10 for... <laughs> for your... <laughs> For a rock, or do you want to play tw- pay twenty bucks for the Black Hills of Maryland's dirt? Do you want to buy twenty bucks of dirt? No. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> terrible. I mean, but it, it's just yeah. As you see, I did not like this movie. I do <laughs> not like this movie. He he never liked this movie. But I'm doing I, it for you, man. I, I I came in I came into it this with an open mind and a hatred in my heart, and I got a amusing movie and like not nothing I would sit down and watch a second time. But no, you just watch this once and that's it. Yeah, it's, it's more of the. It's more of the experience than the actual journey. By the way, I've seen this movie multiple times. This is Kyle and Mr. Bones' first time seeing it, right? Yes. It's, it's more of the it's more of the journey than anything. So yeah. For you guys, it was a journey. For me, it's a nightmare. But I'm reviewing it for you guys. Why did you watch it multiple times in the first place? For 
my sister owned it. Did she have any other movies that you could have watched? When you're bored sometimes and you, you can't find anything else to watch. And also, I was a little kid. <laughs> I was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me, dude. You never finished Sonic 06. You're the one that bought that game, so I wouldn't laugh. I didn't buy it, actually. My, bro my brother bought it. And you kept it. And gave it to me, and I kept it because I didn't really have any reason to give it away besides it being bad and broken. So, it's more of the experience. And also, I wouldn't laugh because I've never called myself a queen at a wrestling event. Shut your whore <laughs> I never called myself a queen oh, before. Yeah, yeah. Da. I wouldn't laugh yeah, at me. Da. Anyways, let's da, back, da, get back to da. the movie. Okay. Anyways, now, now that I'm I'm baby slapping Josh. So Tristan <laughs> gets a miscarriage, and of course the because sheriff, sheriff is accusing Jeff because he's been a big troublemaker since he was ten years old in Maryland. So. I guess he's the easy target, I guess, I'm not sure. Yeah, mainly because they he knows the the sheriff knows. This is all like like what the fuck were you doing out there in the woods in the first place? Well for? technically he does know because of this whole Blair Witch thing. Oh yeah, by the way, they fully admit in the movie that the Blair Witch isn't real. Or is it? Well in this movie, they fully admit it's not real. And also years later, Jeff No, not Jeff. I mean Josh, Heather, and Mike are still alive. Josh is doing a good job. He's doing movies right now. Mike, I don't remember what he's doing. No, but 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 it could it could it could metaphorically could be real. And also, it could spoiler, just be a, a demon. And also, spoiler, Heather part. is in the new Blair Witch movie, not yes. the one we just watched. The one that came out in 2016. Which, by the way, that's going to be coming up next after this. Well, not next, but you know what I mean. When we get to it. Yeah. Which, by the way, the new Blair Witch video game is out right now. We haven't played it yet because we're going to finish reviewing the movies first. Then we're going to play the game. And then lose our goddamn minds. Or we'll be successful. And lose our goddamn minds. Yeah, probably true. <laughs> Did you know there's a Blair Witch game? I do. I researched that a couple times. There's not much information because it's not yet released. It just got released uh, today. Uh, to yesterday, I should say. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, that's it's surprising. One, it's one of those things that you, you get to know when you're looking up games on YouTube. And my, Which place put it on the PS4? I really wanted to... Actually, you want to know what's funny? It's on the Xbox. I know. It's on the Xbox One, and I think it's also going to be ported to... It is. It's going to be on PS2. Xbox, Xbox One. Uh, and not PS2. PC. PC. PC and PS4. Since We're getting off track right now. Let's let's get back we, to the We movie. need to rewind a little bit. We're getting we really get, off track. Get back on topic here. That just shows you that this movie's not worth it, but... We gotta continue with the review. It it's an experience that Josh has lived over and over and over. Isn't it weird this movie came out twenty nine years ago? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Right now, after the miscarriage, I don't know where Tristan's starting to see things, aka what Mister Bone calls it, demon child. Demon child. And Kyle came up with a good, a good theory. He thought that was Ellie Kenwards at first, but I think what I think Ellie was an adult when she died. I don't remember. I need to look up the history again. But it was a good theory that I, I never a, thought of actually. But it's just a theory, a meme Not theory. <laughs> I said meme. I said meme. No copyrights. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, now they go to Jeff's place, which was an abandoned warehouse, and uh, which is another terrible place to hang out at. But hey, he's got good security and all that kind of stuff. You got man. Yeah, but the thing here is okay. We're we're slowly getting to the to the, the twist. The the twist. If you can call it that. 
Yeah, they wake up from the party and all that kind of stuff. Realize no, no, Jeff's no, no, cameras, no, no. Let me get to that part first. Uh, Jeff's cameras are, are like literally destroyed, and also Stevens papers and research with Tristan is snowed everywhere in the woods and oh yeah there's a big tree there which by the way that tree's gone when they look up it's the gone tapes. it's it is it, it, it silent hilled out it was all like I'm a tree I'm gone now <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of true actually yeah <laughs> now let's get back to the warehouse what'd you guys think of Jeff's warehouse okay it, it, it could be a Good fortress if the end of the world actually zombie apocalypse or something. actually happened, but it's not a place that you will fortify just to look for a Blair Witch. What would you Kyle? What did you think of Jeff's place? It's hard to say. Well, one thing for sure, I wouldn't live there while there's like a lot, a demon lot of birds there wanting to uh, trash food through your uh, windows. Yeah. He, and also, by the way, the bridge that get to this place, it's safe. Well, except for the, uh, it's not. <laughs> like, it's safe. No, it's not. Anyways, then I don't know where they look at the tapes. There's a few things they see, like blurry clips and all that kind of stuff. You don't realize who it is. I did, of course. Like, of course yeah. you knew who it was. I think, don't. You didn't figure it out yet until... No, I, I was all like, why the fuck do they have naked people on here? <laughs> I, I thought that... I know this is rated R, but come on, man. And then... Yeah, they... A little bit of class here? Uh, but, but but later on, it kind of t tells you the whole story of what happened when, after they passed out. And next thing you know, like, Tristan is legitimately, like, losing her mind like everybody else is in the movie. Like, you could tell they're losing, especially Jeff, since he used to be a mental patient. I don't know what the right word is to say, but I'm just saying mental patient. A loony? No, no, not loony bin. bin. <laughs> he went to the loony bin. Um, but anyways, yeah, you could definitely tell that they're definitely losing their minds in the movie and uh, next thing you know one of the, the next day uh, Jeff asked uh, uh, Erica to go make some coffee like the lazy bum he is and uh, next thing you know Steven and Erica are starting to get a little friendly with each other no not just friendly I mean really friendly <laughs> Hey, next thing you know, you think, wow, David's going to cheat on his girlfriend. No! <laughs> Scratched! Like, literally, like, like opening him up, and next thing you know... Back to normal. Like, er nothing ever happened. How would you react if you were seeing that? I would have been like... Uh, I need alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, they, they had said that she, they needed... But we'll get to that part soon. Like, like they're they're existing in this one place, Phil, and all they really have is alcohol and stale coffee, and like, you know, like, and the, some old chicken. That, that that thing's like molded by the time they actually got back in there. Well, so. Kim ate it in the movie, so it wasn't molded. Nah, maybe like a couple of days old. Maybe. Which is not bad, probably. It's probably not that bad. Yeah. I'd still probably eat it. Oh, I would eat it. Because, would you? Because I like chicken. I do too. But anyways, um, <laughs> next thing you know, they look at the tapes, and next thing you know, you see Erica dancing naked. Not just naked, very naked. Well, she's still wearing her underwear. Mostly naked. <laughs> And next thing you know, she started to freak out. They're accusing her of destroying everything. And then, then she, she's over there uh, on her little pagan circle. Trying to... Um, trying to... Do some blessing, I think, I'm uh, not sure. She's trying to bless herself. But then but then she, like, breaks down even further. She, it, she has a knife with her for some odd reason. I don't know what the knife is for. I, I never really it's studied. For, it's for ritual sacrifices. 
like I said, I've never really studied Wiccans. I mean, I've I've been kind that, of curious just, of Wiccan that, trees. That, so that's I'm, just my guess. If anybody's a Wiccan, can you give us a hint? Like, we don't know. He might be up to something. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, like, like, I'll throw out ideas until I eventually hit it. And also, to all the Wiccans out there, did you get offended about this movie? Because Erica, who has played a Wiccan, sure as hell got offended by the first Blair Witch movie. <laughs> That's all we heard. That she's so mad, upset, and all that kind of stuff. You do realize Ellie Kidwards was a child murderer in the, in the, in the movie. Yes. So, she's saying Ellie was a good witch? No. <laughs> That's, uh... Anyways, uh, moving on from uh, the, Erica. The she, descent into madness. Yeah, uh, moving on from Erica, we'll get back to her soon. Uh, next thing you know, Cam goes back to a little grocery store. That that never, never existed, apparently. No, it did. No, it did, but none of the people were actually, you know, fully functioning people. They... The, like, the guy that was working on the... Beer refrigerator? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. He he just laid there the entire time. And he said, I finally finished. I finally finished! And, and the stupid lights, like, flickering. So actually, I don't think he actually did anything. Actually, it's funny he said that because... In the documentary... I'm going to spoil a few things about the documentary, okay? In the documentary, they do mention about Russian Parr. And he's the one who got possessed by Ellie Kedwards. And after when he finally done doing Ellie's deed, like killing every child in the village, or city, whatever, he goes to the police station and says, I'm finally finished. Yeah, oh, that, that, that's their little callback to the first it's a little thing. Easter egg, which by the way, I saw a YouTube video, I don't remember who made the video, there's Easter eggs in the movie. I didn't bother bringing them up because I kind of forgot. <laughs> You're all like, it's a thing. <laughs> I'll show you guys later about the. Yeah, does it have to do with rocks? Mm. Does it have to do with sticks? We'll get to that. Does it have to do with dirt? <laughs> so, Kyle, like, what's your theories about uh, them losing their minds and all that kind of stuff in the Player Witch movie? Well, I've seen many kinds of witchcraft before, even the bad ones. Like, they control you. Well, Two ways that they can't do both of them at once: control your mind or control your bodies. Which I hate those kinds. And that's why I, I hate witches. But Blair Witch herself is unlike anything I've ever heard. Hmm. That's all I can uh, think of. So now we're getting to down to the nitty gritty. Oh, by the way, we forgot oh, wait, to mention oh. there's spoilers in this review. Forgot to mention. <laughs> oh yeah, and then and then and then don't 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 worry. we like like the the lady the the um Peggy Pe Peggy yeah, which was arguing with her or what she thinks is arguing with her. Well, they probably were arguing. Uh, and then she's just... Uh, no, 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 don't spoil that. Let's save that for the end. They're just arguing, and next thing you know, Kim just puts her hand around Peggy's neck and throws change at her. No, she throws money at her. That wasn't even change. This just pulls out, like, how how much a fucking a pack of beer costs and then just wad it up in a ball and throws it at her face. Probably back then, ten dollars. Now these days, it's probably expensive. So, so <laughs> it just, she just wraps it up in a ball and throws it. It just <laughs> and Kim moves on, realizing the two redneck pervy dudes are no longer on the front porch. She gets in the van, drives off, and next thing you know, they start throwing rocks <laughs> because rocks. And Kim tries to go drive faster. Next thing you know, she sees. The, uh, we, we, uh, the black eyed children, pretty much. And then we we noticed something. That we somehow changed movies mid mid uh, mid mid movie here. This movie it, changes a lot because what happens is they they, they pull a Forrest Gump. 
They they fucking grab rocks the same same way they did in um Forrest Gump when she had the uh, ex- the leg braces on. Oh yeah. And, it, and they're th- they're throwing rocks. Well, it's like like there's that scene, and then a few uh, like a few scenes later. The black eyed children show up, and a person that's like a full grown adult just standing in between the lines of children. So I'm all like, "Yeah, that that's a that that's a scene from a different movie." I don't know what movie it is, but I'm pretty sure that's a scene from a movie. That's not just this one. And next thing you know, like she, Erica's gone now. Oh, yeah. She's missing. After freaking out about everyone being cursed. And Steven and Erica try to talk, but they're like, it's awkward how they're trying to talk because the last scene, it looked like they were getting ready to get it on, but next thing you know, it's just... It was awkward. Next thing you know, Erica's going to go upstairs. Steven went to go get Kip, not Kip, Tristan. And next thing you know, Erica's missing. She's she just, gone. She's just disappeared. Now, I got a question for you guys. What do you think happened to Erica? Like, how do you think she just... Probably strangulation because there was no... There was no blood. There was just... A hanging corpse. I know, but, like, how do you think, like, it just went by fast, like, the scene, like... Like, it just, like, oh, look, Erica's there. Next thing you know, she's gone. Immediately. No backstory, no nothing. They didn't even bother looking at the cameras. So... Like, what do you guys think? Okay. It might it might have said, like, the problem... Well, later on in the movie... You see what happened. What happened. It happens it, it happened to do with two people being naked. Anyways. But it's like... So, spoiler for that part, but we're getting to that soon. But, but the thing is, it's like... How did no one see this happening? That's what I mean. I like, mean, I mean, I know who did it because we of all the, do because of the end part. But it's like, how the, how did? Like, what do you think, Kyle? As I mentioned before, about how witches uh, control our bodies and minds, and uh, but I've learned uh, one thing bigger than this. Like, I'm gonna pull witch herself, she does not want any eyewitnesses for the whole world to know what happened exactly. So I, I, I think she used her cursed magic to make this all a setup. That's a good theory. Yes. Um, but, um, that's actually really good. I actually but, like but how, Okay, okay, now an- answer my question. How would you, how would you Unless she manipulated everyone at the same time into killing her all at once. Probably because uh, they're all in the same place. Just like being in, in a house, for example, a group in a house. Because if you are separate and far away, then perhaps the witch would have not been able to do all of you at once. Okay. Yeah. That, she that, picks that her victims. Sense. That makes sense. She picks her victims. Like that? She picks her victims one at a time. No, no, no. She. What What has to happen is they have to be congregated in the same place. But. But they have to be far enough apart that they wouldn't notice anything's wrong. Mm-hmm. Alright, so now, next scene is, everybody's freaking out. And next thing you know, the sheriff calls Jeff. He's like, hey, turn on the TV, turn on the news. I gotta say one thing, I know the sheriff has the right to be mad, but my god, he's literally the most crankiest guy I've ever seen in my life. He he is 100% pissed off 100% of the time. Is that you in the future? I'm going to be a sheriff? No, just angry all the time, like the sheriff. 
I going to be a sheriff. So yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but angry. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, the sheriff called Jeff. Say, look on, turn on your TV and all that kind of stuff. Turn on your TV. It's like well, I, we're busy at the moment. Turn on your TV. So they turn it on and realizing the other Blair Witch tour guide is, is just murdered. It, like everyone just vi- ritual sacrifice. Basically. They're sur- they're shaped like a pentagram, and the and it's the same thing what happened on Coffin Rock. You'll get to that when we get to the documentary. Um, and it, it, I think they're starting to realize, like, did we kill them? Like, I think they're starting to realize, oh my god, I, hope, I think we killed them all. And next thing you know, <laughs> it's, this is the point where they're just yelling at every other. Like, there's no little like, yelling in this movie. So that's yeah, why I'm no, yelling. No, no, no. There's nothing but yelling in this part of the movie. Right? Yeah, and there's a lot of talking, so there's really not that much thing that's been going on. Next thing you know, Tristan sees Erica outside in so her just, underwear, naked, like, dancing on a small skinny tree like a pool, like like she's a pool dancer. And and then she, they they leave. Well, Steve they lo- leaves they first. Look, they they look back. Well, um. Tristan sees. Tristan is like. Um, I see her. I see her. Jeff Look, Kim looks the, back outside. She's not out there. Looks and back Steven outside. looks twice and he sees Erica. And he's like, oh shit, she's out there. And then everyone else just runs in, like, huh? And uh, Steven tries to convince her to like, come back in. And next thing you know, Erica says, you know who it is and you know what you need to do. Next thing you know, bridge breaks. <laughs> Like, for no reason. It just... <laughs> and Tristan doesn't help her boyfriend. He's like, eh, moving on. No, she she looks directly at him. Yeah. I was actually expecting her to, like, do, like, the Lion King bullshit. Really? <laughs> Step on, like, the hands, the fingers, and then, like, falling Long off. Long live the king! <laughs> <laughs> you were really expecting that? Uh, yes. From the way the movie was going... Uh, and how creepy she was starting to be, I actually thought that was going to be the logical step there. Well, you were wrong, because she just looked at him, and then on, just, and here comes Jeff and Kim, the same. Oh, shit! Who <laughs> so picks him up? And next thing you know, next scene, we see Erica on the bed, spinning! Spinning! Like, freaking out! Losing her mind! Shoo, shoo. Okay. Get back at the camera. (laughs) And next thing you know, the sheriff calls again. And then the sheriff. And he says he's in the front door. Which is a lie. Because Jeff went to go down there. He's like, like, that's not possible. The bridge is out. I'm standing right in front of your door. And they turn on the camera and see the bridge is back. So, so. Oh yeah, by the way, Jeff's van is damaged. Like, I don't know how that happened. Probably more mind manipulation, but... Anyways, um, next thing you know, Jeff... Oh wait, no, no, that wouldn't have been mind moment. Actually happened. No, that didn't happen because of the last scene. The van's okay. The van's okay. So So it was mind manipulation. And then next thing you know, we see Jeff slowly get to the door. It was all like... Okay. Remembering when he was in a street jacket, freak, uh, going insane and it's all It's like, I, I love this part, because what... what you explain. This what, is your what, ha- what happens is, he's, he starts walking. He's like, like the slowest meandering walk ever. He's slowly walking to the door. Flashbacks of his, of his um, years in mental institutions that starts popping up in his mind. He finally gets there. Oh, he unlocks the top. He unlocks. And next to you. The, the, wait, the the one underneath. Then he unlocks 
the second to the last one, and then he just stands there. He waits on the last one. He's like, do I want to? Do I want to? And then he does it anyway. And he opens it. And... <gasps> Bubbles! <laughs> well, I got one. So. Bubbo! <laughs> but angry. <laughs> and not as cute. <laughs> yeah, they were angry. And uh, Dixie, you know, he grabs a gun. This is all like, I got this. I'm a doctor. Points at them, and they're gone. And, and they're gone. And he's all like, he closes it. And doesn't they, even bother locking it. He just closes it. And, and Steve and Kim are trying to convince like, him to put down the gun. Put down the gun, put down the gun, put down the gun. Put down the gun. He, he opens he, a closet. Walks back to the closet. Because obviously mind manipulation again. Opens the closet. And there's Erica. Dead. Dead and naked. And her body is like she's hanging, but she isn't. And the skin on her body is... Oh, it's bleached white. It's pale as fuck. She couldn't be dead for that long, couldn't she? Like, I thought you had to be like, like... She was like dead for like, what? A day? Not even a day. She, she would have been dead for about 12... I know, but in there, in there, it looked like they'd been there for two days. And how she looked, she looked like she was there for like... Fucking... She looked like she's been there for about possibly two months. Maybe. Or a month, give or take. Probably. But anyways, like, yeah, it, was, it was weird, but confusing. Like, how, like, did, she how die? did she die? And how the hell did she end up in the closet? Actually, it's funny we say, like, how she died because it's never revealed how she died. She, she's just a dead corpse in the closet. We do know she was a real person because they were thinking, like, oh, Erica set this up. She's making us look like the bad bad guys, pretty much. But no, she was a real person, and she died. How? We don't know. She died by strangulation, question mark? It was never revealed. Like, she's been dead for a few days. Yeah, probably. A few days, maybe t good take a few. And next thing you know, they're accusing at, at each other they're again. Just, they're pointing the fingers at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at us like, really, I'm not pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pointing at the dog. Uh, I was pointing here at Kyle. I point at no one because I'm not accusing anyone. I know, but that, that's the joke. It's like the, they're accusing everybody in the movie. And uh, next thing you know, uh, Tristan comes out and, and she's explaining. She, and that she, she says about seven words in reverse. So maybe if we watched it in reverse, we probably would get what she's saying, but. But all we know is that Kim figures out that we have to to watch the videotapes in reverse. And we see what happened. We we see everyone get drunk, high, uh, naked. Having sex. Having sex. So it was an orgy, pretty much. Having, having like, the time of their lives. And then it turns into something... Cultural, uh, of, ritual uh, of the of the occult following. Yeah, they were ripping papers, destroying cameras, and yeah. they got knives and a machete. And think, how the hell did you get a machete? How the hell did you get knives? And next thing you know, you see Tristan in the end, looking at the camera. It's, it's like she's just she's proud of what she's no, doing. No, it's, what she did, she she looks at the screen. It fizzles a little bit, and then she's smirking at it. It's like the Blair Witch is smiling at the camera. It's like, I did it, bitches. And next thing you know, next scene, they realize, like... They, they, were, they were set up from the beginning, basically. By Tristan. 
And next thing you know, in the end, they're Jeff's got the camera on. He's filming everything. And and next thing you know, Tristan changes to the witch. She she turns into the witch. But I when I say witch, I mean I Something. mean the 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 figment of everyone's imagination, which, and next thing you know, she puts a rope around her neck. Like yeah, well to them. I know, but we'll get to that. But next thing you know, she's trying to uh, do it, do it, push me. And next thing you know, we see Stephen push her. No, no, no. She do. He doesn't push her. Yeah, he, he's like. Like having spasms, and then and he's like holding on to the shirt and all that kind of stuff. He's like, yeah, he's like that. Uh, no, <laughs> oh jeez, are you okay? I'm okay. Dude, we don't want to take out the air conditioner. Nah, this was expensive. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm you know, just going to grab you like, oh, and then move by the fall over. <laughs> and next thing you know, Jeff, Stephen, and Kim. Are arrested. Well, they finally realized, oh my god. We did. <laughs> yeah, they killed the Blair Witch Tours people. They realized, we did it. <laughs> oh no. And they, like you said, they're arrested. And now they're being interviewed by the police. Looking at the files, which by the way, Jeff had. How? How? We don't know. We just know that there was a file for everyone on this camping trip. And next thing you know, the police had the files. And Steven realized, like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And now we look at the tapes in the end. Like, this is the one you wanted to talk about through the whole entire review. So the floor is yours. Buddy. Okay. So, so remember when I said that the... The, 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 like, the change throwing. Apparently, that's not what happened. That was all on their heads. That was all on their heads. Because what actually happened was she gra- gra- Kim. Kim grabs the file that she's filing her fingers with. Yeah. Fingernails no, with. It just stabs her repeatedly Man. until she's dead dead. And takes the beer. And takes the beer. She's all like, whack, whack, whack. And now Grabs beer to, leaves. And now get to Erica's. <laughs> Erica's. Which, which, uh, naked, by the way, still naked. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, she is naked, and, um, uh, who is the guy? Jeff. Jeff's all like, okay, I'm going to, I don't even understand how this worked. I have a feeling so, and so I like, don't really like want to she, say. It's like she, he strangled her, but then while he had that moment of, of clarity, he's all like, oh shit, need to hide the body. Puts, like, it still in his foggy brain state. Something tells me, and I'm, I'm afraid to say it, like, uh, I... Puts it in the closet, standing, because who would look in a closet for a dead person? Do you think they had sex and then he killed her? That is possible. That is a theory. That is probably right. <laughs> And, uh, and, the and, and the end, when he puts Erica's body in the closet, he looks at the camera. He realizes what he's done. He's all like, boom. Like, like, for a moment of clarity, he looks at the camera. And, you see and then cuts. And shows Jeff, in reality, not in the camera anymore, but he realized that I did not do that. He's like, I did not do that. I did not do that. But you did. But you did, Dave. You did do that. And now get to Steven. And then Steven. Steven, Steven, Steven. Oh, the Steven. And Steven, 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 Steven. We get it. He kills his 
girlfriend. But not in a way you might think. Because in the videotape... He, he in the videotape, we, we saw the movie. We did not see the videotape portion yet. So, going back a little bit. We see, we see him like, uh, having like a spaz attack, followed by killing his wife, right? Well, this, this one. She's not acting like the witch. He, he, she, she's acting like an actual human being. With feelings and emotion. And they kill her by hanging. Which is still correct, but at the end, it, it was more like, fucking witch. And Steven thinks that someone messed with the tape, even though that's him on the tape. Like, someone messed with the tape, it's like, that tape is wrong, he says. Yeah, technically, the tape is right and wrong at the same time. It's right because... because with the police. With the po police got it. It was already a life there. But, but it was as what we saw. As, as we saw it. We saw it as him, you know, having a spaz attack and throwing her off the balcony, which kills her by hanging. So what we saw, we saw innocent people doing terrible things. But with the police we see terrible people doing terrible things. Yeah. We are the meme, the best motherfuckers in the world. No, Sorry about that, no. everybody. My phone ran out of memory and all that kind I of stuff. I have a popsicle. So we filled up my phone, took the other clips out, put them on my computer. Kyle had to leave, unfortunately, but he, what his words, it's, it was it was like you. It was an experience, but he's never gonna see it again. For me, I hated this movie. I've seen it multiple times, but... Why would you put yourself through that multiple times? I was a little... I mean, I, 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 play, I play and still own Sonic 06, so I'm not any better by any stretch of the imagination. I was a little but, kid, but I was why dumb. would you put yourself through that? Like I said, I was a little kid, I was dumb. Even dumb people want to watch this movie. You'd be surprised. Okay. Normal dumb people <laughs> wouldn't watch Normal this. dumb people. <laughs> Normal dumb people wouldn't watch this. But anyways, I, put, I, went, I watched this as much as I didn't want to, but I did it for you, Maniacs, because I promised you we would watch it and review it. You get my faint and my fake sympathy? Now we can move on and never watch this piece of... I'm not being fake. I really do mean it as no, much no, as I hate it. No, I, 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 I'm being fake when oh. I, I'm giving you my sympathy, my fake okay, sympathy. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> but yep, with I, I did it for you. I did it for he, you, man. He, he managed to sit through the shit show. So, you have my props. I like this better than sex. So I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> if you want to watch it, check it out. It's bad. It's bad. It's entertaining bad? I would say I, watch for it. For you? Not for me, though. Like, just... I, I would say watch it once, and if you like it, then uh, question your life decisions. And... <laughs> and... And... Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you rate this movie? I rate it an unenthusiastic four out of, out of fucking ten. I give it three stars. <laughs> an unenthusiastic four out of ten. You give it a solid three. <laughs> so there was no redeeming... No. No, one is no redeeming qualities. There will be a one probably someday when we do movie <laughs> reviews. Like for him, he plays nothing but zero 
awesome games. We played Beavis and Butthead. He played Pit Fighter. And there were... There were... Forever. There were... And... Zero. Wayne's there, World. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> fuck Wayne's World. The game, not the movie. He's never seen it. Anyways, thank you, Maniacs, for watching our rant slash movie review. His rant, mine. Sort of eh, rant, but eh, not movie. really. Yeah. It's an it's a eh. Up next is the third Blair Witch movie. Then after that, we're going to be watching the documentary. And after the documentary, the special. What kind of special are we talking Oh, I is can't it, Is it better than this shit show? Ten times better. Is it better than the first one? It's a parody. Then it... Okay, is it funnier? Oh, is it, yes. Is it my quality of funny? Is it, like, fucking scary movie funnier? Oh, you'll see. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> All right, and I think the maniacs may know what I'm talking about. If you don't, oh, how you missed out. <laughs> All right, maniacs, thank you guys for watching our review. My name is Joshua James. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Bones. <laughs> well, I had popsicle in my mouth. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs>